Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing yet another songwriter showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue hosted by Room 6 alumni, Hal Savar. If you'd like to be on the showcase, you can contact Hal um, on one of his social media pages I've listed in the description. If you'd like to be reviewed, or interviewed, or both, by me, hit me up using the email address or social media link for Room 6. You'll find those down there as well. With some old friends, new friends, and everything in between, this promises to be a great time. I mean, it's live music and barbecue. Of course it's going to be great. The show was opened up as usual by our host, Hal Savar. Hal's always great at warming up a crowd and setting the stage for those coming after him. Aside from hosting showcases and playing his own original tunes, Hal's day job is being known as the Human Jukebox, playing hundreds of cover songs by request at various venues around town. If you get the chance, you should definitely check him out. Following Hal was habitual showcase performer Quinn Turner. Quinn's a regular and can be counted on to bring some mellow positivity to the stage. With no musical histrionics, Quinn's music draws the listener in and takes them on a journey with relaxing songs about various parts of life. Up next was Cat Collin, who in previous performances had a full band. This time we're treated to a more stripped down performance of just Cat and her guitarist. Even though the sound was more subdued than usual, Cat's powerful voice still rang out and drew appreciation from the crowd. I've put her social media handle, as well as everybody else that performed, down in the description. A new face to the showcase was Paul Adams, who actually moved to Denver two days after the show. His songwriting style was upbeat in a pickin' and grinning manner that was a little bluegrass, a little folk, and a little comedy all mixed together. He'll be missed in the local scene for sure. Stay tuned for a virtual interview from him in the future. Up next was Fear for Love, who I interviewed two days before this show. It was a great time, and I hope you'll check it out when it posts. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss it. Vera for Love's music reaches into her heart and spreads joy over the audience. Simple guitar chords serve as a foundation for her storytelling, and she too will be missed in the local scene. I'm glad I got the chance to have her on the channel before she left. Another new performer to me and to the showcase, the next act was Norman Kim. Norman was found by Hal at the Composer's Showcase held at the Smith Center. With a classical guitar and a flying V, played as a slide guitar, both on stage, you knew this was going to be something special. As the set progressed, the flying V alternated with a Gretsch. Norman's songwriting seemed to combine a little Jack Johnson fused with Jason Mraz's wordplay and just a little Freddie Mercury thrown in. All through the crowd, you could hear people say, wow. The next performer was David Wax, another familiar face at the showcase. David is a solid performer who always puts on a good show. With complicated chord structures and a strong, clear voice, David impressed both musicians and music lovers alike. I'm looking forward to getting him on the show soon. Krista Kidd was next, pulling out some of her old songs, but new to us, along with the old memories they evoke. Krista puts her heart and soul into her songs, but in a way that draws the listener in to share and commiserate. Aside from Krista's passionate performance, something truly special occurred as well. Krista's teenage son performed for the very first time ever and blew everyone away with an original song of his sung in English and Japanese. What the heck was I doing at that age? Sheesh! The next act was one fourth of the maybe four, Russell Christian. With four songwriters in the same band playing each other's music, Russell was glad to get the chance to step out on his own for a bit. Bringing music that flowed from campfire songs to folk songs to songs about baseball with harmonica, Russell showed the crowd that he had layers to his music. Finishing out the night was Troy L, who brought a full band to do it in style. Their sound was jazz-based R&B and it blew the doors off the place. The band was talented and professional and complemented Troy L's strong vocals and great stage presence perfectly. And they were a great way to end a great show. Overall, the latest installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was a hit, and I'm looking forward to my next visit there. Hope to see you there or on the live stream, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll click the link down in the description for the live stream version of the showcase so you can watch all the performances, watch all the amazingness. Uh, other than that, if you're in the area of Main Street in uh, downtown Las Vegas, uh, swing by Soul Belly Barbecue. It's great food, it's a great vibe, it's a great place. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it would really make a difference. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you to everyone who's supported and subscribed. I really do appreciate you all. Uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.